so uh, I just finished um, NHL 23 technical test. World of Chell, because that's what it was. Yeah, here's my first thoughts. <laughs> So once I, you know, booted it up, got on that technical test, accepted everything, and it all just felt the same. You know, the setup was the same, the character design was the same, heck, attributes for your be a pro character or whatever, your World of Chow character was the same, the layout was the same. So the only difference, really, is I start at level 1 again, and I need to remake my character. Oh, and, you know, the equipment was updated, so well done, EA, I guess. I'm a big fan of those Bauer Mock Skates. They look great. So overall, before even playing a game, I was frustrated. There's nothing new. Literally, this is a tuner. It's not even a DLC. That's my initial thoughts before I even stepped on the ice. Now, I'm showing you the trailer over again because you can't record the game. To be honest with you, I could show you any World of Chell from literally any game over the last few years and it'd be the same on the surface. Commentary is the same, sound of the game, the atmosphere is the same, the gameplay feels same-ish. You know, there are some minute details in there. Uh, the players look crisper, uh, if that makes sense. They look better. Now, it could be just the TV I'm playing on because, well, it's a nice TV. You know, but the game looked nice. I gotta say, you know what, I did like that the poke checks were, were dialed back a bit. And, and they worked sometimes, but you know what, I, I feel that there, there's some clunky mechanics in there because there's certain times where you have the perfect poke check and you see your stick blade go through the other player's stick blade, through the puck, and nothing happens. Now that, that was frustrating. So even when you do have a well-timed poke check, it's just unrealistic because it doesn't work. Another issue I had was the timing of the stick lift. Uh, it was it's actually quite a big issue. It felt like the timing, you know, when I clicked A and when the player went to lift the stick was, was delayed. Just like a little too big of a delay. And it wasn't a network issue. Um, checking was also kind of silly. You know, the bone crushing checks every which way. Stuff you don't see in the NHL. Oh, and the dreaded ice skate backwards towards the goal is still a thing. Somehow every player is like Cal McCarr with a mixture of Sidney Crosby. Uh, you know, the double combo of edge work. Yep, I combined McCarr and Crosby to make an uber player, and that's what it feels like when playing against players where all they do is turn their back to the play. You know, like I like the puck protection along the boards. You know, pull a Yarmer Yager in his prime, open up space that way, start a cycle, whatever. But, you know, coming in from the blue line, skating backwards, where your back is to the goalie and doing a blind pass tape to tape, I guess I just want some realism in the game. That's that's playing against people, by the way. It, it's not playing against, you know, the AI or the computer. Uh, who knows what the AI will be like in the real game, but I already know what online and hut and all that's going to look like, and yay! Do I seem sour? I feel it. But yeah, the technical test, you know, it was only World of Chell. You know, I, I did um, EASHL, Eshel. Uh, I did the Eliminators, I did the Pro-Am, and yeah, it looked crisper. But in all honesty, it just felt the same, and I got the feeling of bleh. I do wish this technical test was more grounded on core gameplay. I don't need to be online. Just let me play an Avalanche versus Lightning Stanley Cup final game. Let me get a real feel of the gameplay in a proper atmosphere so we know what the gameplay is like. Get a feel of the mechanics for proper feedback. The second effort stuff and all that, you know, it's, it's minuscule additions. It's barely noticeable. Yeah, you know, you can get, you get knocked and you, you stay on your feet sometimes. Um, but the second effort stuff, I don't think I've seen it once. You know, the D was slower holding the poke check. That was good. You know, a half thumbs up there for EA. So with this, I just feel EA is hiding behind this world of Chell malarkey, and you don't get any satisfaction from the game. This is supposed to be exciting, a new NHL game, and it just feels empty. In the end, this is just my initial reaction. Comment down below your thoughts. But in the end, for the NHL 23 technical test, in my opinion, 
It's just more of the same. And that's not a good thing.